Hello dear students, welcome back to Learn Physics. In today's video, we are continuing with the electromagnetic induction chapter. So, now we are discussing the seventh question. A cylindrical bar magnet is rotated about its axis. Figure uh, is given over here. A wire is connected from the axis and is made to touch the cylindrical surface through a contact. Then, see here, you can see a cylindrical bar magnet. It is rotated about its axis. It is rotating like this. That's why omega is given here. A wire A is connected from the axis and is made to touch the surface of the uh, through the contact. Then, a direct current flows in, an, uh, in the ammeter. Well, the direct current will be passing through the ammeter. So, it is rotating. So, the, uh, it is rotating means magnetic field is moving right changing magnetic fluxes have no current flows through the ammeter the current is not flowing through the ammeter then the an alternating sinusoidal uh, current uh, flows through the ammeter a with a time period t equals 2 pi by omega alternating current is there they are telling in d it is given like uh, what is a time varying non sinusoidal current flows around. So here in apart from this B, everything is saying it is the current is flowing through the ammeter. Right here current is flowing, here sinusoidal current is flowing with the time period this one. Time varying non sinusoidal current flows through the ammeter that and all given. But where the magnetic flux linked with the circuit is changing or not, there is no change in magnetic flux. Right? As cylindrical bar magnet is rotating about its axis. So the, here there is no change in magnetic flux. Magnetic flux linked with the... Uh, Circuit is not changing. Hence, no current pass, pass through the ammeter. Clear? Next one. A copper ring is held horizontally and a bar magnet is dropped through the ring with its length along its the axis of the ring. Acceleration of the falling magnet is. So, a copper ring is held horizontally and the magnet is dropped through the ring with its length along the axis of the ring. Acceleration of the falling ring is. See here, it is equal to that due to gravity, less than that due to gravity, and more than that due to gravity, and depends on the diameter. So here, copper ring is there, magnet is moving. So while magnet is moving, magnetic flux linked with the circuit changes. So, an EMF is inducing in that, but it will be opposing the cause due to the change in flux, right? So, the gravity will be, it will be against the opposing, as per Lenz's law, it will oppose, right? It will oppose the cause due for that change. Since it is opposing, the gravity will be lesser, less than that due to gravity. So, G will be there, it will be opposing, so it is less than that due to gravity. Next one. There are two coils A and B, sorry, A and B as shown in figure. The current flows through, flowing from in A, B is as shown figure. There are two coils, uh, when A is moved towards B and stops when A stops moving. The current in A is counterclockwise and B is kept stationary when A moves. We can infer that. So here some conditions are given. There are two coils A and B uh, in the figure and a current flows uh, flowing in B as shown in figure. Current is moving from here to here. This is the direction of current. When A is moved towards B and when A is moved towards B and stops when A stops moving. A is moving towards B and it is stopping when A, mo A stops moving. The current in A is counterclockwise. So current in A is like this. B is kept stationary when A moves. Uh, B will be stationary when A is moving. We can infer that here the conditions given are 
which is matching to the pro, uh, this uh, condition you can see there is a constant current in the clockwise direction in a it's not in the clockwise direction there is a varying current in a there is no current in a there is constant current in the counter clockwise direction in a what is the answer it will be a con uh, constant current in the anti clockwise direction only right when the a is when a stops moving what will happen when a stops moving what will be the current in b current will in b will be equal to zero so it, it is possible only if the current in a is constant current in b is equal to zero this is possible if current in a is equal to a constant if current in a is a variable what will happen there will be an induced emf in the circuit so b will uh, be equal to zero a, um, a can't stop moving if a is moving also then it would be working okay so an induced current will be forming then so here current in a is remaining constant so there is a constant current in the clockwise direction in a clear next one same as the above problem except the coil a is made to rotate about the vertical axis referred to the figure no current flows in b if a is at rest if a is at rest no current flows through b the current in the coil a when the current in b is counterclockwise and the coil a is as shown at this instant t equals 0 is so same like only it is telling uh, except the coil a is made to rotate about a vertical axis referred to the figure the same like a question only here current is moving in this direction here it is moving in the ah uh, yes vertical axis the axis is like this it was not a uh, counterclockwise it, its axis is uh, in the vertical direction no current flows in b if a is at rest current is not flowing in uh, b if a is at rest the current in coil A, when the current in B is the counterclockwise and the coil A is as shown in the figure at time t equals 0 is. So, when the current in B is, you have current in B. In which direction it is? Current in B is in anti-clockwise direction. Right? Current in B is in anti-clockwise direction. So, it is as per Lenz's law. When the A, uh, while we are considering uh, Lenz's law, when the coil A is start rotating, when the A is moving, what will happen? Current in A is will remain constant in clockwise direction. B is moving in the anti clockwise Current in B is in the anti clockwise direction. While A starts moving, what will happen? Current in A will remain constant. That will be, that will be in clockwise direction. So the answer is current in A, constant current in clockwise direction. Next is Lenz's law is uh, essential for that one you know it is the consequence of conservation of energy. Lenz's law is conservation of energy. Next one. A conducting square loop of side L and resistance R moves in its plane with uniform velocity V perpendicular to one of its sides. The magnetic induction B constant in time and space pointing perpendicular and into the plane of the loop exists everywhere as in the given figure. The current induced in the loop is. We need to find out the current induced in the loop. How can we find out the current induced in the loop? See here, current is a square loop L, resistance R moves in the plane uniform velocity perpendicular to one of its sides. Okay, it is moving uh, uh, perpendicular to one of its face. And then a, a ma magnetic induction B is constant in time, pointing perpendicular to the plane of the loop, exists everywhere. Okay, magnetic field is existing everywhere. Then current induced. What will be the current induced here? Whether there is any change in flux is happening, 
there is no change in flux happening over here if there is no change in flux will it be having current current won't be flowing over there so current induced will be equal to zero induced current is equal to zero next since there is no flux linked is no change in flux induced current is equal to zero 15th one inductance plays the role of inductance means it is equal to the inertia it is equal to inertia inductance is nearly the same like inertia only resistive force next is a circular coil expands radially in a region of magnetic field and no electromotive force is produced in the coil okay circular r coil is expanding radially in a region of magnetic field and no emf is produced in the coil what is the reason behind it when the circular coil is expanding radially what will happen yeah, that, that is uh, radially uh, it is present in a magnetic field right it is in a region of magnetic field so the magnetic field and the circular coil both will be in phase with each other or perpendicular to the component okay so in these two condition will the current will be existing over there so what will be the uh, ha happen the magnetic field is in same plane as the circular coil uh, it may or may not vary okay magnetic field will be in same plane as the circular coil uh, the plane of the circular coil next one magnetic field has perpendicular component whose magnitude is decreasing suitably so these two are correct only so both b and c next one 17th question when the current in a coil sorry when the current in the coil changes from 8 ampere to 2 ampere in 3 into 10 to the power minus 2 seconds emf induced in the coil is 2 volt we need to find out the self inductance so current is changing so di we can find it as 6 ampere in 3 into 10 to the power minus 2 seconds the emf induced in the coil is uh, emf equals 2 volt self inductance how can we find out e is equal to minus l into di by dt e equals minus ls we don't know l into l only we need to find out di is 6 divided by sorry e equals uh, what is that minus l into di is 6 divided by dt is 3 into 10 to the power minus 2 this is 2 so here it is 3 10 to the power minus 2 henry if it is in milli henry minus 2 henry that is uh, equal to 1 into 10 to the power minus 3 1 mil, uh, not 1 10 10 into 1 into 10 to the power minus 2 or 10 into 10 to the power minus 3 so it is 10 milli henry okay next is mutual inductance of two coils depends upon which and it is depending upon which and all factors medium between the coils separation between the coil both a and b bo, none of a and b okay so here it is depending on the medium between the coils and it is depending on the se uh, separation between the coils so here the answer is it is ms depending on the per, uh, which and all factors mutual inductance is depending permeability of the core and number of turns and then it is depending on the cross sectional area separation between everything it is depending so here it is between medium between the coils and separation is given so these two are answered so the correct answer is c next one due to relative motion of a magnet with respect to a coil emf induced in a coil identify the emf is induced in it is depending on faraday's law the surf if there is a relative motion between the magnet and with respect to a coil emf is inducing that is faraday's law next one in faraday's experiment electromagnetic induction more deflection will be shown by galvanometer when magnet is in uniform motion towards the coil magnet is in accelerated motion towards the coil magnet is in uniform motion away from the coil 
so here it will be the magnet is near is at rest near the coil in fact electron more deflection will be shown when it will be it is velocity well, it is changing with respect to time fast right magnet is in accelerated motion towards the coil at this position it will be showing more deflection okay dears so these are some of the questions uh, uh, mcqs so hope it is useful for you and if you like the channel please don't forget to subscribe like and share thank you for watching bye